My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right now. We're almost at 118,000. We're on our way to 120,000 subscribers. And uh, check out my live uh, chats, my live streams. They are absolutely epic. Mitch McConnell has promised to vote. Mitch McConnell, uh, Syracuse.com. McConnell, Senate will vote this week. This is today. Senate will vote this week on Kavanaugh nomination to Supreme Court. Uh, Associated Press. Uh, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the Senate will vote this week on Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court. The Kentucky Republican has used the Senate floor speech to accuse Democrats of constantly delaying and resisting Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh's no- nomination. He says, quote, the time for endless delay and obstruction has come to a close. McConnell is suggesting a parallel between Democrats' actions and the McCarthy era of the 40s and 50s, when Senator Joseph McCarthy used unfounded allegations to accuse people of being communists without firm evidence, ruining their reputation, which is exactly what they've done with Russia. So the parallel is there's a direct parallel between Russiagate and the Mueller probe and Trump collusion with Russia and the McCarthy era. Democrats have gone backwards in time. Democrats have regressed. They Usually people learn from history and grow. Democrats learn from history, learn all the bad things from history and say, hey, how can we repeat these horrible uh, time periods? Let's go ahead and accuse people of working with Russia when we have no evidence. Let's go ahead and accuse people of a heinous act, uh, even without any evidence. Now, Dr. Ford could be telling the truth or, or... Brett Kavanaugh could be telling the truth when he's saying, I am innocent. Sorry, if you don't have evidence, you can't ruin someone's life and career. You can't ruin, you can't prevent somebody from being on the Supreme Court because somebody alleges that they did something horrible. Yes, you have to go ahead and if you want to investigate, or I should say, I believe most women, there are some times, however, where in this, uh, in this instance, the Me Too movement is being used, weaponized, politicized for a, a specific goal. They don't care about protecting women. If they cared about protecting women, they would treat uh, Keith Ellison the same way they treat Brett Kavanaugh. But they don't. They don't at all. This is all grandstanding theater, uh, showmanship, uh, whatever. It's all, it's all a play. They've acted from day one. They wanted hundreds of thousands of documents. They got hundreds of thousands of documents. Uh, you know, what's his name? Was Spartacus. Then there was... Uh, oh, there's so many excuses, so many... Their outrage is meaningless. They have zero political power. They think they're going to go into the midterms with some momentum. They think this is... Um, energizing their base. No, this is taking the wind out of their sails. They were going to lose. I stayed stayed on May 30th, and I continue to state Democrats will lose this midterms. Republicans will keep the House. They will keep the House. And the Republicans will increase their lead in the Senate. They will gain seats in the Senate. And you're looking at a Democratic Party that will just melt down into outrage and blame and sorrow and 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 mm-hmm. this just miserable frustration when they spent two years culminating with trying to ruin a man for some for something that one person says happened thirty seven years ago without any evidence at all where. She stated, oh, there's four people there. None of the people state they were there. So therefore, it didn't happen. And then there's an article out and people are sharing it. It doesn't mean it did happen. Snarky. MFers. Snarky. I'm trying not to use profanity. Snarky. Snark. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's This is what happens when millennials think they're intellectual. Or I don't say I don't know if it's millennials, but this is what happens with like a certain type of millennial. This kind of bratty, sorry, Elvira, 
this kind of bratty, snarky, you don't mean it didn't happen, it could have happened, you know. It's gossip, moron. It's gossip. It's hearsay. It's conjecture. It's innuendo. It's everything but evidence. Looking at some... He said he was with PJ. He said he was with PJ. He was drinking beers with PJ on a weeknight. Huh? Huh? He lied. Perjury, man. No, idiot. No, stupid. That's not perjury. If he is saying... Um, under oath, I didn't drink every night, I didn't drink on weeknights, or I didn't, whatever. You can't prove that somebody, even if he says, uh, yeah, even if that is an example, oh, he was drinking on a weeknight, and he said he didn't drink on a weeknight, he didn't, you don't know, you, were, you weren't there. Maybe he went to go for drinks with PJ, but he didn't drink. Who cares? If you drank or if you didn't drink, it doesn't mean that you committed an act. A heinous, disgusting, horrible act. You want capital punishment for violent rapists? I'm no problem. I would vote for capital punishment. But don't pretend to care about women because more women now are speaking out and saying, hey, wait a second. I actually experienced a violent, brutal, disgusting encounter that ruined my life for a little, for a, for a time period. Men are saying that too. People have been brutalized. There are people who are really brutalized. And Dr. Ford could be saying, but this was like, thank God, no actual sexual act took place. A fleeting moment in time. Don't know the location. Don't know how you got to and from. Don't know the time. Don't know the date. And that's another thing. When they look at his, um, they look at his um, calendar, she doesn't know the date. There's no date, time, location, anything. There's, it's completely so vague that almost it seems like a Democratic strategist almost thought it up. Not saying that one did. Dr. Ford could be telling the truth. But then again, so could um, Kavanaugh. Sorry, Democrats. Merrick Garland, all they did was not vote. They didn't destroy Merrick Garland's life or try to destroy his life. They didn't go ahead and try to destroy George Papadopoulos' life, or Republicans. Or, Democrats destroy, seek and destroy, after they lose miserably. They try to go ahead, set up Papadopoulos, set up uh, General Flynn, set up Trump. And they're so, Ill they're so illogical. Well, you see all these indictments? Look at the Mueller probe. It has nothing to do with Trump-Russia. We have no idea if Russia hacked the DNC. We don't have any evidence of that. Well, the FBI says, yeah, the FBI is James Comey. They're highly confident. The CIA, yeah, John Brennan. Well, they're highly confident. So what? I'm highly confident you're a bunch of idiots. I have more evidence regarding that than you do about, uh, oh, CrowdStrike out being outsourced by Hillary Clinton. How come everything leads to Hillary Clinton? That's bizarre. That's bizarre. PJ had drinks with PJ. This is, this is a... <laughs> This still doesn't, even if he did, even if he didn't, if he, even if he drank on weeknights, it still doesn't mean what is, it is what, what happened took place. Democrats are so stupid. And all the wonderful people on, online who are so enlightened on the left, how much did you drink 20, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, last night? What did you do? Who were you with? You better make sure nobody on the right finds out. You better make sure your enemies on the right don't find out what girlfriend you had who hates you, what boyfriend you had who hates you. There are manipulative people who manipulate women, manipulative men who manipulate, who manipulate women, yes, and they use their status to try to, you know, engage in sexual activity, to try to go ahead and manipulate. Bill Clinton is an example. Could be Keith Ellison, I don't know. I don't know, but I'd venture to say that if you questioned Kavanaugh on his, al uh, on his calendar, he would destroy any allegation. This is, this is insane. You're looking at your book. What does this word mean? Well, you know what this word that means. Oh, he's guilty. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton tra actually transferred top secret intelligence, put it on her server in her basement outside the U.S. government, and it was for yoga. 
We're okay. We're supposed to be okay with them. Oh, I don't like Clinton. But everything you do helps Clinton. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? People on the left, well, I don't like Clinton. Well, yeah, you do. I'm just opposing Trump. Well, keep opposing. <laughs> November 9th, I think it was like a couple days, either a day or that night of 2016, the day after I said, you know what? If Democrats don't change, they're going to elect Trump again in 2020. And they are. And I've been saying it forever, and I've been saying for a long time, since before May. But May, I was on TV, RT's Crosstalk, saying that Democrats will lose in the midterms. And I can't wait. I'm counting the days. Political retribution. Political retribution. You know um, how you can tell if a political party has any power? By it, whether or not they win in elections. The Senate is going to not only remain GOP, more people are more, uh, there's going to be more, there are going to be more GOP senators, and the House will stay Republican. Republicans will keep the House. I don't care if it's, if they keep it by three or four seats, or, uh, you know, Democrats get a net gain of 10 seats, which would be embarrassing. They need to get close to 20, they need 23, they ain't going to get 23. You can kiss that goodbye. Kavanaugh is going to get confirmed, you lose again, great economy, Late th- later this month, could hit 5% for the third quarter GDP. You lose again. Peace between North and South Korea. You lose again, Democrats. A restructured NAFTA. You lose again, Democrats. Uh, a powerful G- uh, Republican Party. And most importantly, because I'm not really, the party is not, I don't care about political parties. It's Trump. I support President Trump. Like Kanye West. Like people of all backgrounds. That's another thing. You're not going to hear people call others uh, Nazi or supremacist or anything like that as much after the midterms. Because they'll be like, hmm, maybe we, maybe this tactic of trying to insult and bully people hasn't worked since what? Since 2015. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. Hit subscribe right now. Brett Kavanaugh will be confirmed.